Police say he was driving more than twice the speed limit when he ran a red light in Largo. He then crashed into a car, killing the two people. More than a week later, that driver is now in jail. And tonight, the family of one of the victims is opening up about the arrest and how much they miss their loved one. Fox 13's Aaron Mesmer has their story. It's been about a week since family and friends gathered here at this memorial to remember the two victims killed in a car crash in Largo. And now police say the man who was behind the wheel is behind bars. The heartbreak of losing their child is so fresh for Paulino Trejo Mendoza's parents. At times, their grief leaves them at a loss for words. My heart's very broken by what happened in our life. I can't find the words to tell my family that everything is fine when it's not true. Knowing the man Largo police say killed Paulino and his friend, Ariadna Sanchez Monroy, was free, made their pain even worse. He should have been taken to jail right then and there. Investigators say Ilya Andoni was driving 92 miles an hour down East Bay Drive last week, ran a red light at Starkey Road, and slammed into another car. Paulino and Ariadna were both in that vehicle and didn't make it. Andoni survived and was eventually released from the hospital. On Monday, police took him to jail. I was concerned that maybe he would leave and, and not face the consequences that he should be. Paulino's best friend, Brian Najera, says the arrest came as a relief because right now he just misses his friend. I miss him a lot, man. I, honestly, sometimes my girlfriend would say I would spend more time with him than her, you know, because he was just my brother. Paulino's parents, meanwhile, are left cherishing the love their son brought them, but wishing they had more time with him. He had a lot of plans to be happy forever, to be with us and to take care of us, and for them to have taken his life like that is unfair. His loved ones are now just hoping that a fair punishment is what awaits the driver. It's very important because he took the lives of two people. You know, it could have been anybody. And Largo police said they met with the Pinellas State Attorney on Monday and agreed to charge Andoni with two counts of vehicular homicide. In Largo, Aaron Mesmer, Fox 13 News.